What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company. All of our soccer coverage is sponsored by a donation from Beach Football Club. All of our Millican coverage is sponsored in part by Curtis Boyer. And our Poly coverage is sponsored in part by Juju Smith-Schuster and the Juju Foundation, as well as Jayon Brown and Playfair Sports Management. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Time to put a bow on 2022 More League Boys Soccer on Wednesday night as Millican visits Long Beach Poly. The visiting Rams alive in first place in the More League after wins over Wilson and Cabrillo over the last week. And Poly has been trying to get healthy but it's behind the ball after an early loss to Cabrillo. Even though it's still early in the season, these games are played ferociously, and this one was no different, but it was clean physicality and just a few fouls. Milliken outshot Polly 6-1 in the first half, but nothing was super threatening on either side of the field. And because of the stats, it really felt like Milliken's game to lose headed to halftime scoreless. However, Polly was on the front foot early in the second half and was able to spread Milliken out. That helped the Jackrabbits out shoot the Rams 7-2 in the second half, so turnabout's fair play. Polly had a few shots from the top of the box but couldn't convert. Roberto Bermudez sends that one to the triangle. Polly's Kevin Hedahon also having a go here after shaking defenders, but Milliken's goalkeeper Riley Cabarlas comes up with one of his three saves in the game. Hedahon had a game high four shots. Milliken also had its chances to score down the stretch. Deflection finds Isaac Machuca his shot as a field block for Brian Roman. Frustration building for both sides. Final five minutes. Milliken's corner kick is in there. They're going to have two shots. The second one looked like it went in. Rams thought so, but Amir Diaz Espinosa comes up with one of his four saves, and you could see by how he celebrated that that this nil-nil draw felt like a win for Polly, all things considered. Jackrabbits jump into the top half of the league standings with the draw. They only play twice before more league starts again on January 9th. Milliken falls into second place with the game in hand, and they're going to be in the Marina Tournament over the holiday break. Thanks, as always, to all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. And make sure you stick with the 562.org for all of your local sports coverage. Happy Holidays.